Ryan. Mm. Hi, it's Julia from Martha's <laughs> office. Um, Martha has business to attend to in Bedford this morning. She's going to contact you via video conference in the loft at 9 a.m. You got it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Matchstick. Hi, Primarius. I'm here in Bedford today at my farm, and I'm working in the kitchen, as I often do, preparing some new recipes for my magazine. One of my favorite things to make and create is a salad. When I was a child, my mom took me to the grocery store and bought her first jar of salad dressing. It was called Wishbone. And Wishbone's been making salad dressing for about 50 years, and their annual revenues are $300 million. For your next task, both teams are going to create a limited edition salad dressing for Wishbone. You're going to make your own recipe, and then you're going to have to design packaging and sell your wonderful new product at one of two Stu Leonard's locations. The team that makes the most money from selling their product wins. It's as easy as that. The losing team, well, I'll see you in the conference room, and one of you is going to be going home. And by the way, the lettuce that's in front of me, it's right from my garden here in Bedford. And I would love a new salad dressing to dress it with. Good luck and have fun. Mm. I love you. <laughs> After receiving the task, Matchstick got in the van and came out to New Jersey where the test kitchen is so we could start preparing our salad dressing recipes. The new Matchstick is Ryan, myself, Amanda, Donna, David, and Marcella. These are the ingredients, huh? Not quite sure what all that stuff has up there. Marcella, why don't you create one on your own and just see how it comes out? Marcella, a professional cook, this is what she does. So yeah, I'm leaving the dressing all up to her. And I'm not gonna tell the Pope how to pray. I'm certainly not gonna tell Marcella how to cook. You feel alive, right? I feel alive. It was very important for me to win this test because they picked me last from the lineup and there's another chef on the other team. Bethany has more experience than me in the kitchen, and a lot of the responsibility was put on me. So going head-to-head -head with Bethany in the task, it just made me work harder. I'm gonna start with the Latin flavors. There's gonna be maybe a little bit of cumin, poblano, cilantro. Okay. That is so good. I love it. It's green, though. Is green not good? Go it's so good, I don't know. Yeah, it is it. really good. Mine just, the, the green color freaks me out. It looks kind of like vomit. That's not what I'm worried about. Damn. The first salad dressing that Marcella made, although it tasted wonderful, it looked more like something you'd find in a health food store where you have to kind of plug your nose and drink. At that point, I was feeling like, okay, she definitely needs to be watched over. All right, well, let's do another one. I'm gonna make a few more and you can try it. Okay. This has to be a great dressing for salad lovers primarily with salad. My strategy as project manager was to delegate specific functions to those who I believed were most suited for it. I am totally trusting you Good, with the whole you. graphic part of it. Jim was going to be in charge of creating the label. I'm going to make an Asian vinaigrette. I mean, a lot of people do like Asian right now. It's very in. Bethany was going to be the creative mind behind creating the salad dressing itself. One tablespoon of garlic. Don't worry about what recipe it is. Just write egg. Garlic. I'll write it. Just keep reading them out. Quarter cup of balsamic. We're gonna make a twist on it because that's what we have. Who's better than you? Not many. I'm a natural food chef and I happen to make a phenomenal salad dressing and I love Marcella, but there's no way she could touch me in the kitchen. I might need some dried herbs too. This is the first task that I can say, this is me. I can do this. This is exactly what I do. Okay, right, use more. It's not ready. I was last picked on Primarius, so the more I can contribute to this team, the better I'm gonna look. If I'll have to be designed, that's perfect. I'm gonna be a hero on this task. It's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Tablespoon of honey. Here's the kick. Okay. Quarter teaspoon of wasabi. It's getting there. It needs dimension. Wasabi. Another tablespoon of lemon. You guys wanna taste just a preliminary dressing? It's good. That's fantastic. Mm. Not unbelievable. Mm. This one rocks. Oh, yeah. Bethany. God, this is good. What about doing like, they don't have any rosemary, and rosemary is such a popular herb. 
Maybe we could do a little bit of lime for um, Okay, brighten it a up twist. a little. Mm. That to me, that seems to have more mass appeal than the Latin. Just pick whichever one you like the most. Okay. Okay, guys, do you want to try it? This is the final design. Well, if you okay it, it is. I think it's good. We say go for it. Yeah, I like oh, it. I like it. You can't just like it. You have to love it. Tell me what you need. I think it's fine. I don't like the word fine at all. But it's still good. Okay, okay let's good. do that. I feel pressure to win because if we don't win, obviously I'm going into the conference room, but I know that I'm giving it my best, so that's that's all I, that I can do. The We're name is Rosemary Lime Vinaigrette. That's what we came to do today. We got it done. <laughs> Did you hear that, Marcella? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Give you a hammer, man. The task was to create and design a new innovative salad dressing for Wishbone, which we would sell at Stu Leonard's and Yonkers. The team that made the most gross revenue would win the task. Hey! We created rosemary lime vinaigrette made by Marcella, and I came up with the price, $349, because it was right about where I thought we could get the most for our money. Would you like to try the greatest salad dressing ever invented? There you go, ma'am. One day only, you can use this and marinate wow. for some good chicken. Delicious. And you should take on some. Okay. Oh, good. Nice tank. It's got a little bit of spunk to it. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, she loved it. Did you yeah. see her face? I was really anxious. I didn't know if the dressing was going to sell. Just because I love it doesn't mean that other people are going to love it. But people are loving the flavor. They're loving the versatility of the product. Could you come over and cook for me? I live in Mexico. Amazing. It's a long drive. Marcella, you're amazing. I can't tell you how many compliments I've gotten on this. Marcella was on fire. She felt in control. She was confident, and I literally just wanted to hug her and just tell her what a great job she was doing. Thank goodness we picked her, whether it was last or first. Thank goodness we had her on our team. I made this yesterday. Don't be shy. Like Give it, it a try. You marinade chicken in it, beef. Can I send you home with a bottle? Sure. All right. Here we are in Connecticut selling Asian vinaigrette. We decided to go high with the dressing. We decided to go for $3.99. I think if we can get every single bottle out the door, no question we're winning the task. Can I interest you in a bottle? Sure. Asian vinaigrette, have you tried it yet? Been known to cure warts, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to give it a try? No obligation to buy, sir. We'll just browbeat you until you do. Woo! Is it trying to sell or just being a lot of noise? Just trying to make a lot of noise. Make it seem like he's working. Sales are doing excellent, but uh, I just think Jim is a little a little crass in his sales approach. Little taste of heaven right here on Earth. Come on, try before you die. Massage the wife's feet. She'll love it. She'll love it. Just wishbone. I wish I wasn't being boned right now. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Jim doesn't know what selling with class is. Unfortunately, Jennifer, our project manager, won't do anything about it. It's embarrassing, and I wish that he would disappear. You think they could have priced it more than this? They don't guys. have the balls. I don't think so. They don't, they don't have the balls. I, on my life, he said something to another gentleman, they don't have the <laughs> balls. And even the way he's advertising, saying that the product is good for a foot massage, I felt it was very vulgar. When I worked in a meatpack this year, I used to stuff right. massages okay. in the lower intestine. Here we go, eh? Hi, Wes. Everything okay? No, I've got to talk to you and then... Jim. Is there an issue? Yeah. Okay. The customer came up to me really, really upset. She was referring to you when you were selling, mm -hmm. using the F word. No, to... not once. If another customer mm -hmm. comes to me about it, the demo's over. OK. Sure, sure. All it's done. I apologize. Back it up and out. We really don't, we really don't want to upset you. Thank, Thank you. Customers. Thank you. I was selling the humor. And believe me, those bottles were going off the shelf. And if by going mass market, I have to step on a couple toes, oh well, cry me a river. I'm selling the product. What are you doing? If you're marinated fish, chicken, shrimp, Pasta? I marinate pasta all the time. How many are you getting? Get three or four, but because I'm telling you, these things are like hotcakes. I think in this task, it's truly a sales task. My strategy is I got to sell multiple bottles. They have a top salesperson on the team, being me. I'll sell it wherever I got to sell it, you know? Here, why don't you just take two? No, I'll just try one. Oh, right one here. more. Come on. You sure? You sure? Okay. Everybody have their second and third bottle? She's like pushing crack. Is Leslie putting them in the cart? No way. Uh, That's going to start uh, pissing people off. Yeah. A lot of times, Leslie was trying to sell multiple bottles. She was literally just pushing them on people and handing it to them where they felt like they had to take it. I was a little confused by that tactic that she was using. Fabulous. You need three bottles. Where'd those come from? 
They over there, they got cheer. You mean people w w didn't want to buy them? I'm sorry. Very bad news. People are giving these back at the cash register like crazy. Oh my God. When you give someone two bottles, when they get to pay, they probably think, I probably only need one. So that was probably why some of them were being returned. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. How many are we, have been returned? How About many? 30, I bet. Oh, 30 oh, there. Jay's Louise. No, I don't care. You guys are doing awesome. I don't care if we win or lose. It's fun. Yeah, same here. And everybody's like, I love it, I love Everyone it, I love it. Everyone loves it. That's what it's about. Care. In essence, we had to resell 40 or 50 bottles that we thought we had sold. And that really can take the wind out of your sails if you're not a fighter. It's kind of disheartening, but it, it makes you have to, you know, buckle down that much more. Okay, let's go, let's go. All right, let's you go. guys, sell all those. Let's go.